today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your local instance of Keycloak that's defined in a Docker Compose to the latest major version. So right now our image in our Docker Compose is pos uh, pointing to version 18 and not upgraded to the major Keycloak version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the Keycloak repository, which is hosted at key.io. Now to get the latest version of the Keycloak image. So I'll explore and let's search for Keycloak. And let's look at the tags. So looks like the latest major version is version 20. And I can easily just take this and edit that in my Docker Compose. But if you're just starting from scratch and you're trying to figure out what the actual uh, URL is for the image, you can come here and select this. And this is what you'd put in a Docker Compose. So that's the other way. Like if you're starting from scratch and not upgrading, just by the way. Um, so, all right, so we know this exists. So 2.0.0. .0. And I come back to the IDE and just change this. And I also have a script here that essentially just restarts the Docker Compose for Keycloak. Uh, you know, it shuts it down and then starts it up. And so I'm going to run that right now. Okay, so that's done. So let's go back to the browser and see if anything changed in the UI. So we come back to this Keycloak admin uh, console. And let's sign in. Take a second a while because the container is still starting. So let's refresh this. All right, I'm logging in the credential that already existed. I created these credentials in a previous video. So if you want to see how I did that, the video is in my channel. So once you sign in and we can see there's a clear up, uh, difference between the previous version, which was 18 and 20. You can see the typography is different. We have like tags here um, and it just has a different look and feel. So it looks like they're updated successfully. One thing I wanted to mention is that this is ideal for if you are just testing locally on your laptop, but if you want to make such a major jump from a version, especially in major versions, is that you want to go through the documentation and look at, at any uh, breaking changes that are listed in the documentation. So there's probably big breaking changes from 18 to 19 and 19 to 20. So you just want to make sure that not, none of that is breaking your existing functionality. And hopefully, you know, if you have existing tests that test your uh key cloak stack then that can kind of validate any uh changes that you made so if there's anything amiss then they'd probably be caught by the test so that's another another advantage of uh having tests but i wouldn't recommend just jumping from one major version to another without uh reading the release notes and testing extensively before you actually deploy to production